Assalamualaikum. My name is Amir Rakim Muhammad Nif. My meeting number is 267611. Today I will present about chapter 5, Improving Employee Performance. So this is my table of content. The first one, definition of employee performance. Generally, employee performance refers to the way employees act and perform at work and the quality and the quality of the work they produce. The employee must establish a performance objective for each employee and the organization as a whole in order to provide high quality of product and services, minimize waste and operate more effectively. Employee performance, efficiency and reliability are all examples of what is mean by performance. Importance of employee performance in an organization. Successful employees achieve goals. The ability of employees to meet objectives is a critical component of their overall success. Successful workers accomplish deadlines, sell products and improve their company reputation via greed customer encounters. Ineffective staff performance causes customers to believe the organization is uninterested in their requirement and to look for assistance elsewhere. Second point, create a positive work environment. Morale in the workplace improves when employees are executing their tasks well. To bring down a whole department, you need employees who are unmotivated. It's critical to create a work atmosphere that upbeat and stimulating, give reward and collective recognition for high performing workers at meetings in order to cultivate a pleasant work environment. Additionally, a high-performing workplace is a magnet for high-quality recruits because it seems to be alive and focused on its objective. So, factors that influence employee performance. As you can see in the image, there is a lot actually, but the only three key factors that will improve your employee performance. First, training and development. Second, employee engagement. Third one, company culture. So training and development. The goal of training is on short-term gains such as understanding a new feature in your company software. But the focus of development is on long-term aim. The training that an employee receives from the organization has a direct impact on his or her performance. Depending on the scenarios, various companies have varying degrees of training and varied expectations of employee performance. Employees who do not get training beyond their first week of on the job will believe that organization is not making an effort to help them advance in their careers. Company must give their workers a seamless learning environment that encourage them to grow in their professional path. So, on to the next uh, point, employee engagement. In the workplace, employee, en employee engagement refers to the amount of excitement and devotion that a person has for their profession. Given the relationship between employee engagement and work satisfaction and morale, employee engagement may be crucial to a company's success. Employees who are engaged are more likely to be productive and perform at a better level. So, the third one, company culture. The way you conduct yourself in the workplace is referred to as, to as a company culture. Employees and customers have an experience as a result of your formal and informal procedures, attitudes, and beliefs. They all contribute to the overall impression they have of your company. At its most fundamental level, business culture is the way things are done in the workplace. A variety of benefit and competitive pay the ability to recruit elite personnel may have been important in the past, but the landscape has changed. Employee happiness cannot be achieved just via monetary compensation. Company culture plays a significant role. So st that's all for the uh, influencing. So strategies that can improve employee performance. Why is it important? It is important because it's possible to increase the efficiency of your team performance and so assist your business achieve its objective in a more timely and cost-effective way. The success of any business is strongly reliant on the performance of its worker. When people are productive, engaged and motivated, they are more likely to fulfill their goals and the objectives that you set for them as a manager. Improvement in employees' performance may not only assist your firm in achieving its mission, but they can only increase employee happiness while simultaneously decreasing staff turnover over time. So, there are three points actually. Train and develop your team. The likelihood that workers will do will do their du duties accurately increase when they get the necessary training to help them understand their responsibility and develop their abilities. As a result, when workers begin their new position, you should make every effort to put in a, uh, in a place comprehensively 
training programs that will prepare them for success. Through additional training programs, professional retreats, conferences, seminars, and coaching system, you may also encourage employees to maintain their personal and professional growth. Second point, embrace flexibility. Employees often place a high value on their ability to be flexible in their jobs. Offering workers flexible work hours and telecommunicating choices may help them be more effective in their job as a whole, as well as develop a feeling of trust among employees. However, although many supervisors assume that workers are less productive when they work from home alone, this is a widely held misunderstanding. Lastly, celebrate win. Managers often overlook the importance of taking the time to recognize and reward individuals who produce substantial outcomes and contribute to the advancement of the organization's purpose. Make sure you concentrate on the success that your team accomplished as a result of their effort when you take the time to recognize and thank your team members that they are do the excellent work you will make them feel appreciated and this will inspire them to continue to be more consistent and perform well in their future initiative evaluate employee performance how to evaluate performance evaluation may be intimidating for both workers and managers yet they are critical first step in the development process you may squander significant time and effort executing improvement studies that do not even begin to address the root cause of an issues if you do not conduct a thorough review of each individual employee performance, take the necessary time at this step to ensure that you get thorough and well-rounded evaluation of the individual performance, well, which will serve as a strong basis for developing development plans. So, the first point is, twist on the SWOT, uh, strength, weakness, opportunity, and uh, I forget the other one. Starting with the strength enables managers, but most typically workers themselves, to express what they believe they are excellent at for indicating areas in which they would want to improve. This approach may be anything about the company is holding them back, such as lack of critical resources, or whether they believe they are in need of such resources. Rank performance skill, a typical approach of evaluating an employee performance in a certain area is to use numbered scales such as 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 to evaluate the employee's performance. These scales are widely used because they are simply to comp simple to comprehend for both workers and managers, allow for quick comparison across team members, require minimal administration that can be tailored to meet the specific demand of any companies or, or organization. Managers or human resources might define the criteria that will be used to rate candidates, which may include behavior, ability, and task completed. The last one, self-evaluation. In this technique, the employee evaluate their own performance in relation to series of questions provided by the company. When utilized in conjunction with a spoken performance assessment, uh, the strategy is most effective. Although some workers may find it critical, uh, difficult to gauge their own performance, if you can identify the difference between what the employee believes about their own performance and what you believe about it, you will be able to generate some uh, fascinating topics for discuss during the meeting. This strategy also assists workers to understand what will be evaluated during the performance review, which may elevate any accessory they may be experiencing. So as for conclusion, human productivity will continue to be provide, uh, to be a priority for individuals and companies for the foreseeable in future. Improving career development option is another priority. With the amount of ideas and the range of approaches to explore how ideas might be implemented to suit human needs all around the globe, there seem to be no end in sight. Some businesses are experimenting with the use of technology to increase productivity. productivity. But technology is, is still directed by the, by the view of the people who program it. And this is a long way off. So, thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum and warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.